guys, my name is Sabina. Welcome to another video. Today I will be doing my June wrap up and July TBR. <laughs> a super super hectic month for me and even right now it is super hectic for me so I had this huge photosynthesis project that I have to write like 50 pages about it went well I got a great grade for that a great grade um, so yeah everything went well but I had a lot of other projects and a lot of other tests but I survived but right now within two weeks I will be finished with my test week and I haven't really started studying yet and it's gonna be so hectic. So for the first couple of weeks of July, so the next couple of two weeks, I won't be able to read that many books, but afterwards I will have summer and I will go on vacation and I will have time to read some books, y'all. Why am I doing that? I'm so weird. Still, I think that I read a pretty decent amount of books in June, so let's start with my June wrap up. So the first book that I read was quite a disappointment and that was You Know Me Well by David Levithan and Nina LaCour. So I read this book because I got like an early digital copy through NatGalley and I was super excited for this one. It was also like on my summer TBR. It was one of my most anticipated summer releases but I read it and I did not like it that much. The things that I hated about it, well not hate it but I just really didn't like it, uh, were the parts that Nina LaCour wrote. They just really annoyed me. Her character annoyed me as well. I think her name was Katie. Mark, the character that David Levithan wrote, I thought that he was pretty fun. I thought that he was really okay, but the thing that I did not like about this book was the super quick friendship relationship that Mark and Katie had. It was just so unrealistic. They knew each other for four days and Mark said to Katie's parents, oh my god, you, you don't know how much I love this girl. And I was like, You've known her for four days, Mark. You cannot tell someone that you've known for four days that you love them. Just some other things I did not really like, the relationship that Katie had with her love interest. It was also just kind of weird and fast. And Yeah, the book was fun, but it was not my cup of tea, so I gave it a two out of five stars. And I wouldn't really recommend it to you, but if you are a big fan of David Levithan or Nina LaCour, definitely go check it out. It's just that they're writing styles do not really like speak to me. The next book that I read was a book for French and it was L'Etranger. I don't know who it was by, Albus Camus or something like that. Uh, and I've decided that I won't be giving star ratings to my school books anymore, except for my Dutch books because I do feel like I actually read those. But the ones for French and Spanish are just a little bit like, yeah, I don't really have an opinion about them. I think that they're just okay. This book, I read it and I'm not gonna say anything more about it because I don't know what to say. And then the last book that I finished in June was Por Amor al Arte, which is a Spanish book that I had to read for Spanish. My very first Spanish book that I read, so I'm pretty proud of myself and I read all of it, so. Again, I'm not giving it a star rating. Those were the three books that I actually finished in June and I also started a new one in June and that will also be on my July TBR. So let's go on with that book. That book is Baker's Magic by Diane Zaylor. I think is how you pronounce that name. I am loving this book so far and I'm like around 40% through it and it is so much fun. It is a middle grade book about adventure, about a girl who was super poor and started to live with a baker. She's baking. You have a boat. You have a pirate. So many good things in this book. Like I said in my last video, we have a group of Dutch booktubers and we did a book swap and Brit from Brit Reads gave me this book to read and she lent it out to me and I'm reading it right now and I'm really, really enjoying myself but I hope that I will be able to finish it within these first two weeks of July so I will do my best it's like only 300 pages so I think that it should be okay the next book that I'm planning to read in July is Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows and this is the Dutch edition a couple of people asked what kind of edition this was I already started this book in June actually before I started Baker's Magic but I was like 50 pages uh, through and these pages are super long and they have small font and I was just I want to read a Harry Potter book and I just want to be fully immersed in the story and right now I just can't be fully immersed in it because of school. So that is why I was like, okay, I'm gonna read Baker's Magic. I just want to enjoy Harry Potter the best way that I can and especially the last book. So that is why I will be reading this after I have finished with my test week and when I can just put my full attention to this book. I just want to love every single page of it and I just couldn't. So the next book that I want to read in July is A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah D. Mass. So I will be doing a buddy read with Chelsea from Bookmark and she is such an awesome booktuber. I just recently discovered her channel and she discovered my channel and we both 
both love each other's videos and uh, she emailed me and she wanted to do a buddy wreath with me and I'm just super excited for this book because it's Sarah J Moss, it's A Court of Thorns and Roses and I've heard everyone talk about A Court of Mist and Fury and how amazing it was and how big it was and how they all ship a pairing that I don't know but I'm spoiled for it but whatever. I'm just super excited for this and Chelsea is too. You should definitely go check out her channel. I will leave a link to her channel in the description down below because she's an amazing girl and she's Australian and I've never really seen that many Australian booktubers. I will also probably be reading this book on the plane when I will be going to America because oh, I'll have like plenty of time to go and read this book, like about eight or nine hours, I think. So I don't know if I will be able to finish all of those books. Like I said, test week and after that I have a party and another party and then I will have a week full of like things that we have to do with school. And if I would be able to read another book, it will probably be something contemporary. For a contemporary, I would probably choose Wonder Lost by Jan Malone because I've been so excited for this book. This is one of my most anticipated summer releases. It actually already came out in May, but um, whatever. Look at that cover. It makes me think of summer so much and it involves traveling. That's all that I want to do right now. So those were all of the books that I read in June and all of the books that I'm planning on reading in July. Let me know in the comments down below which books you have read or which ones you want to read because I always love to hear that. You guys can follow me on all my social media pages which are Instagram, Snapchat, and Goodreads. I will also leave a link to my my email address in the description down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see more of my videos and I will see you guys next time. Bye!